Hello there folks, it's me again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, a place where I discuss different topics about spirituality usually, game design and well from time to time well also dream interpretation but that's kind of almost obsolete. Uh, introspection, the main topic of this video as well as game design and game development is specifically my video games but they take a long time so usually I have to uh, occupy this uh, channel with some of the wisdom that I have acquired. Now the reason why I'm looking that way is because of the beautiful people that are there and of course the beautiful sun. I'm also trying to do some sun gazing because the sun is a bit trapped in between the trees. Now I didn't have a specific topic for today but I just felt like um, I needed to be to feel a bit more alive out there and actually not necessarily focus on doing a certain video or not but I also found that um, this day was way too beautiful to simply miss and the topic today was something around um, when you help people make sure that you help them but you don't you know uh, help them detrimentally okay now this may sound a bit awkward how can you help someone detrimentally well many people are kind of doing this even if it's detrimental to their own health or detrimental to well uh, themselves okay it's detrimental in a way to others okay now many people help others usually specifically on terms of expectation i'm scratching your back you're scratching mine okay this uh, topic usually comes from people who want uh, you know have expectations that you will return what you are doing so basically some people are living in this competition who helps the other one the least if they want to take more than give uh, or who gives more if they want usually to give uh, you know uh, more than others would give them and to a certain extent I can admit that I've been in the second group as well since we you know people who are uh, somewhat emotional but at least you know we place a, a great accent on the empathy we simply end up giving more than we uh, receive but at the same time it's always a perfect trade it's what I call the rule of the hundred percent this is a personal term that coins the fact that everything will always be a hundred percent if you take energy from something it's also you're giving that same amount of energy back so if you're taking negative energy from people uh, be mindful that you're also giving as much energy back because well everything is like most likely you remember in chemistry you give a certain amount the same amount also comes back okay or something gets in to a certain you know calculation and it's always the same amount that comes back okay so the point is there was once a story about a CEO who was finally convinced by someone to take as a you know apprentice the CEO was kind of you know uh, that was going to be their first apprentice they never had an apprentice and when the apprentice stepped into the CEO's office the CEO told them something that may sound quite brutal in a way to some people okay and he said okay now you're gonna do some things for me okay you're gonna do everything that I ask of you and more importantly I'm not gonna pay you for everything that you do for me now this may sound quite brutal for some people and of course to the apprentice also and the apprentice asked after a while okay uh, they asked how is it that you don't pay me for everything that I do okay and the CEO replied um, and you know they said well you see I don't want to get you used to the simple aspect of a job system okay of a job mindset that every time uh, you do something for someone you have to be paid in return okay you have to expect something because many people end up in this illusion you know and they kind of uh, you know they're always or almost always expecting that you know end of the month paycheck right it's uh, they want the money okay and worse than that some people don't even know how to handle that uh, much money okay so uh, the point is the CEO was quite wise in this point and said I'm gonna uh, help you okay because the point is by providing me value okay you're providing value to more than just one simple person because sort of the influence that I have as a CEO I can simply you know uh, pick up the phone and you know if you have a problem it can be much easier solved okay because that's one way of thinking how to help people okay there was also another quote that was quite interesting and it's 
worth reminding people of it. Many people dream about building, being millionaires, billionaires and the such, but the question is what are they giving in return? Because, you know, people like Bill Gates and the such, they may be influential, okay? People who work in regular jobs, well, if their job uh, changes something, right, an algorithm or something, or if the job changes them, well, to an individual it's not going to be much of a difference, okay? So it's not going to be their own specific life, okay? But if Bill Gates pulls out, I don't know, Windows 15 or Windows 20, the whole planet, okay, the face of the whole planet will be changed. To a certain extent, of course, but you see, that's the point of uh, providing value, okay. And again, money is an energy that comes to people who uh, provide value and know how to create communication, okay. Because communication is the foundation of all help. Now, in this society where everything seems to be pulled towards the aspect of... Um, being away as distant as possible from the others how are you going to establish relationships okay simply by speaking on uh, you know uh, messenger or whatever other things like skype discord well let's think about it that's not equally emotional as you know staying face to face with someone okay because first of all communication will kind of always uh, place an accent on the part of the visual okay because there is more to communication than just looking at the person okay we have the so-called specialized neurons okay those neurons or mirror neurons are very important when it comes to socializing because they have to be trained okay some people may have a natural you know innate ability to make better use of them but still as every other skill you have to practice it okay that's how you learn and it is an unconscious aspect okay you don't have to worry too much about it actually when you start worrying you're basically becoming a bit more detrimental to your own self why is it because when you worry you're basically focusing on what you are worrying okay instead of actually uh, focusing on what you want succeeded okay what you want finished because that's the problem of fears okay that's the problem of uh, goal setting because many people when they set goals okay they become detrimental to themselves because instead of the final result okay uh, they just keep to a certain vision okay you have to understand that when you create a certain vision it's not important to stay focused on it anymore just break it down into steps and go through the steps you know just like uh, there are for example transactions in programming now a transaction is basically a code a big bunch of code usually that executes only when each and every one of the steps is fulfilled okay so that's how I would personally see goal setting okay because that's how a goal is achieved you achieve all the steps that you have made probably more or less basically uh, also at least several other challenges because there's always something that appears now when it comes to helping other people okay you have to understand that you have to help them wisely okay you have to help people wisely else you're gonna be more detrimental okay and i've been surrounded by a lot of people who would almost force me to accept their help because this usually comes from a lack of uh, recognition okay a lack of self-image and also it comes paired with obviously uh, expectations and the way I call expectations is the anti-chamber of uh, disaster okay emotional disaster usually so all these being considered okay helping others is what I call an art okay because what I call a friend is not someone necessarily whom you might even trust okay people don't even know what trust is but they definitely trust all sorts of people whom they don't know much about and they don't know even well they don't know much about themselves in the first place so the point is if you don't know yourself how come you expect to you know easily uh, understand others or learn things about others because knowing yourself is the first step towards uh, you know naturally sorting people because once you know certain vibrations that you go by okay people will simply easily sort for you because well your gut feeling will kind of do the job for you okay people will vibrate in their own theater in their own circuses because well that's what people are mainly using the mind for different you know <clears throat> theaters right different dramas or dramas as i call them you know drama and traumas okay theater plays and the such and well this is something that i call being the best actor on the stage of your own life so helping others is indeed a certain art okay and uh 
well, how to realize you are detrimental, not helpful to others. Well, if you're unconscious, most likely you won't be doing that. But if you're aware that to a certain extent you don't have a good self-esteem, you most likely also have expectations of others. So if you're helping people and you're also having expectations of them, it would be better to, first of all, help your own self. And, well, self-help is... Uh, almost you know extinct because people that have a lot of problems will also have all sorts of excuses not to help themselves and this goes even better for you know those who have different uh, you know personality disorders like narcissistic sociopathic uh, people specifically or well even people who have just a few minor tendencies because society kind of stinks of these too, thanks to the traumas and, you know, inability of parents to simply raise their children. And also to understand that there is no one ever going to help you become better. If you want to become better, you have to help yourself. Because, hey, this video was also about helping, okay? So, um, well... I kind of didn't prepare a speech for this video, okay? So I was just interested in hopping out in nature and, you know, sharing a few thoughts, a few bits of wisdom. And, well, when it comes to helping, okay, be sure that when you help people, the best thing to do is that you teach them how to help themselves, okay? Helping is not something necessarily that you would do for the present moment, okay? Helping someone is best done when you help them for the future. When you share something that they can make use not only now but further in the future also. Why am I saying this? Because many people will simply want to be helped and, well, if you don't teach them how to solve their own problems, some of them might actually do even, might make even more problems just so that you solve them, okay? It's a way of vampirizing energy from others and, you know, many people are just perfect con artists when it comes, you know, to playing the, you know, the girl in distress, right? The damsel in distress and, you know, they're always the wounded ones, they're always the suffering ones. You can explain them something a hundred different times each and every day and it's like, apparently, they can't understand it. But if you tell them, hey, you know what, I'm gonna leave you and I'm gonna go out, you'll probably be shocked or surprised, it happened in my case, to see that, hey, you know what, they, they know those things so well, but it's just that they want that little bit of attention and extra attention and extra attention and again and again and again and again okay i did this happened for example with my grandmother she kind of ended up by you know almost the end of her age to become like kind of narcissistic i can't say fully but well she kind of had a lot of regrets you know and uh low self-esteem and the such because well being a communist person being having lived in the communist age it had a lot of downsides for the people because many people lived truly alone okay it's many people lied to themselves that you know it was a society of politeness but when everyone or so many people were capable of even uh, you know denouncing their parents their you know siblings uh, their spouse to the securitate for you know things they've done or not just because they wanted to rid themselves of them or they just wanted to do a bad deed the problem was when you were outside and you know you were at a table with someone or you were sitting on a bench and someone would randomly come and sit by you you would obviously be polite to a certain extent even if you'd fake it because you never knew who that was maybe that was some kind of chief from the secret police or some relative or the such but it didn't didn't even have to be right because well the parent might just get pissed or the uh, neighbor might get pissed and you know they would go and say hey you know what uh, this person is doing this illegal thing and they would simply bust into your house no one would ever ask you if you ever did something but well there was this passion to simply and constantly rape people, you know, emotionally. And in my country, this is something that we are kind of great artists, okay? And my grandmother became quite good at using these tricks, okay? Emotional tricks and such. It, they worked a bit. Uh, in time, I became quite uh, used to it. And uh, one day, she, you know, decided to play this trick in which she wouldn't speak to me. And to her surprise, probably, I was very happy, because think about it, she wouldn't speak to me for two whole days. Imagine the happiness I would have, because, well, she wouldn't be cursing and doing her, you know, hideous things. 
Although she did good things in her life also, I'm not gonna, you know, denaturate her existence. But the point is, by the end of her existence, she became a bit of a nuisance to me. And, well, she kind of ignored me for two days. I also didn't take her into account, because why not? Some freedom never hurts. And guess what? She would do things uh, that she would daily ask me to help her with, she would do them all by herself. There was literally no problem in doing them. And when she started talking with me, she was again curious of, you know, me telling her how to do this, how to do that. So there are all sorts of people in this world, okay? So help yourself first, because the point is, when you are helping others, you are basically and mainly also helping yourself. But more importantly, when you are helping yourself, you're also helping others. Why am I saying this? Well, I'm saying this because there is a thing many people may not understand. First of all, when you help yourself, the point is you're making your life better. When you're making your life better, that's a very important thing because when your life gets better, other people's lives can also get better simply by you being good. When you're not doing well in terms of health, finances or emotionally or whatever, you're slowly becoming, and well, naturally speaking, not judgmentally speaking, you're slowly becoming a nuisance to others. Why? Because, well, when someone isn't doing well, right, other people will slowly be pulled down, right? Just like a machine, okay? A machine that, you know, has an aged piece, each and every one of the other pieces will kind of, you know, start to be a bit more used. So take care of yourselves, okay? Learn how to help others and help others responsibly, okay? When you help others responsibly, you're bypassing your own impulses, okay? Like wanting or even worse, craving attention and such. So all this being said, hopefully you like this video. It's been kind of, you know, uh, all the way. It's indeed good to be alive. It feels so good indeed to be finally alive. I'm kind of starting to come out of the shell that I've been building for a long time. And all I can say is that fear that I once had long ago kind of ensured my survival, I can say, in a wild, wild world, okay? Now, all this being considered, take care of yourselves. You're loved and appreciated. Ferenc Jan Board signing out.